beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, chicken, turkey, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, lamb. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen today and my channel, of course. <laughs> Happy New Year to you and yours, okay? This is the year where we're being intentional about our fitness journeys. We're being intentional about what we eat. We're being intentional about being active. But yeah, welcome back to my channel, guys. So in today's video, um, by the title, you already know we're gonna be throwing it down, throwing it down, throwing it, throwing it, throwing it down. I actually love cooking videos because editing them is so fun and I get to have a whole lot of food in my fridge when I'm done so I really love this video these videos that I do anyway don't forget to like share subscribe click the bell like button down below so you have notifications every time I post a video and let's get right into the video period <laughs> Before we jump right into the video I just wanted to share what I've been using and that's what we're going to be using in this video I'm using this app called keto cycle I've been using it for about a month now I've literally been testing it out for about a month now and I've been using it to cook different recipes and when I tell you that it's so helpful it's so so helpful you can literally make shopping lists there they put like a whole meal plan for you they put recipes keto do's and don'ts like it's such a helpful i wish i had this when i first started keto you know when i did not know anything about it and i just needed help what can i eat what can i eat this is like this is super super helpful so today i'm going to be using this app and i'm going to be using three recipes from this app so make sure you check them out i'm going to leave the link down below if you guys are interested in this app i really highly highly recommend this app for you it can serve as you know a starting guideline you know especially when you're starting keto and you just need guidance at first this is so so helpful so if you're interested, make sure you check that check the links down below and you know check them out. Also use my discount code. I will leave it on the screen here for some discount for some discount for some discount. Okay, so make sure you guys check that out. Also shout out to the Keto Cycle app for sponsoring this video. However, all opinions are mine and mine only. Okay, that's on period. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Yeah. So for breakfast, we're going in with this avocado boats from the app and I'm just going to start off with my avocados. I'm so happy to have found new ways to enjoy avocado because this is something that is so healthy for you. So having new ways to enjoy it just, you know, slaps. Anyway, I'm just going to take out, you know, the seed and then the middle. I sliced it open. I also boiled some eggs already to hasten this video and now I'm just going to try and fit that into the middle and to do that i just like sort of scrape the middle out a little bit so it can accommodate the egg and i thought this was like so creative of them i don't know if they like originated it but whoever started it i thought that was so creative and it just it was it just looks good so I'm going to go ahead and fit in every one of them, doing the same thing, scraping out the middle a little bit and then, you know, fitting the eggs into that. And next up, it's time to season this bad boy. So I go in with some salt, some black pepper. I also go in with some pepper flakes and then I go in with some bacon bits as well. They used real bacon, but I was just, I don't know, I was just lazy to like, fry bacon bacon for this so i just used bacon bits which tasted the same and it tasted great i added some parsley as well for flavor and some cheese they didn't add cheese to theirs but you know with keto you kind of just want to add as much fat as you can not as much but like you know just enough so i added cheese and it tasted really good as well and i just popped that into my oven after placing it you know in the pan and i let that sit for like 10 minutes in the oven and i got it out and it was it just looked so nice it was so pretty it was so good and then i decided to taste it and i was surprised by the taste it didn't taste like avocado until you know after chewing and then the aftertaste it was just different the spices were good this is a very good snack not just for breakfast but i feel like you can just have one 
by the day look at this like it just looks good it had this crunchy taste at first because of the heat from the oven and then it melts into your mouth like the actual avocado itself so the textures the flavors everything was really good with breakfast so what do you think about breakfast tell me i didn't kill it i know i killed it it's cute it's simple and it's pretty yeah my breakfast is pretty because that's how i like to wake up why do you think beyonce said i woke up like this uh yeah no. Anyway, that's it for breakfast. Breakfast was really simple. Anybody can, you can literally make breakfast in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You can make breakfast in 10 minutes. And I really, really loved it. I enjoyed it. So now let's move on to Sorry guys, if I don't give you my dry jokes, it's not me. Anyway, for lunch, we're going in with my keto salmon sushi bowl with cauliflower rice. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm starting with cauliflower rice. If you have cauliflower, all you need to do is just blend it because that's what I do. Anyway, in my pan, I have oil and the oil is seasoned oil. And then I added some butter. I'm just adding some a bit more of that oil. It just has pepper and garlic and a bit of onions in there. So I just added that to the pan. On the app, it says to just steam the rice like that. But you know me now. I love my spices. So I had to like, you know, spice it up a little. So I just fried that in that oil. So the oil had, you know, garlic. I added a bit of salt as well. It had garlic, pepper, and some other things. I added some um, onion flakes as well. And I added black pepper too. So I just, you know, let that steam for like five minutes and that was done. So next up is time to make our sauce for this. And I'm using the Nando's Peri Peri and mayonnaise. They used mayonnaise and sir sriracha. I hope I said that right, guys. Anyway, I just did mine with the Peri Peri sauce and this was amazing. This was great. I just warmed that in the microwave for like a minute while I, you know, prepared to dish my plate. So first off, I'm starting with the rice we just made, the cauliflower rice. When I say rice, I don't actually mean rice. Before you guys start eating rice on your keto journeys and say, Wani did that. And then I used some smoked salmon. I think they used real salmon. No, they actually used smoked salmon. And then I added some um, cucumber. I soaked the cucumber in water so that, you know, it can softening up for the whole yeah, meal because you don't want to be like biting so hard with your rice i added some avocado some pepper flakes some parsley and uh, i think that was about it and this was ready to go i almost forgot to put the sauce but i trust me the sauce was it for this meal like the sauce just took it to another level i was already eating it like that but i added the sauce onto that i just put the sauce in a little bag so that i can squeeze it onto the plate i'm sorry my camera was like going in and out of focus there but yeah that's it for lunch and yeah i really liked how this turned out for real for real i did that again 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 So lunch was, you know, as usual, <laughs> lunch was yummy, just like it's mommy. That's me. I hope you know why. Mm. <sighs> Who's seeing me? Like, who is seeing me? Who is seeing me? Anyway, <laughs> that's exactly how lunch made me feel. Like, I'm just feeling myself. Anyway, lunch was good. I'll try and keep dinner simple. Simple. Okay, simple. Anyway, let's head right to dinner. I'm sorry guys, you guys just have to entertain me. It's my channel, okay? This is not to be cooking show. Anyway, for dinner, we're going with chicken and asparagus stir fry, starting with my chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and season this with some butter, a lot of butter, some pepper, pepper flakes, ginger, garlic, and black pepper, and then some lemon, and the lemon just like, ugh took it to another level they didn't really spice their chicken like that guys on the app so you have to like kind of you know tweak it to your own taste so i warmed that up and i just you know 
um, coated the chicken with the sauce so it can, you know, marinate. I marinated it for just like 10 minutes. I put some olive oil in my pan and I went ahead to fry some onions first before popping in the chicken onto the pan. And I'm just going to let that fry for a bit and you know just spread it out so it cooks faster this was really fast to make i feel like everything i made today was really quick and very easy you can literally make this on the go or you can just meal prep it if you want now while that is frying i'm gonna go ahead and prep my asparagus and just you know chop it up a little so we can prep it to add to the sauce that we're gonna be making if you guys try any of these recipes please don't forget to send me pictures i enjoy seeing you guys like try these things out when you send to, to me on like instagram or snapchat so if you do on this one please don't forget to send to me i just like to see that ah, ah. some people are feeling me like that you know you know it feels good okay anyway back to the subject i'm just um frying the chicken some more i think i fried it for like another five minutes after or like 10 minutes again and after frying i'm just gonna take that out of the pan so i can drain the oil and this was the same oil i used for the um for the cauliflower that we did earlier so i drained out most of the oil and then i added the asparagus and i just fried that for maybe a minute or so into that pan the same pan that has all the spices so that that can get the spices as well i added some soy sauce i think they added soy sauce to theirs as well but guys i was so shocked shocked at the fact that they didn't add any seasoning though like girl anyway maybe because i'm just you know too nigerian or too african or too you know something like that but yeah i added some chicken i added my chicken back into the pan and after adding the chicken i added some onions as well and i just you know steamed that for another minute or so and that was it for the sauce i told you everything was easy peasy today today was calm vibe you can just eat this like that because that's how the meal was served on the app but i was just you know i don't just want to be eating meat just like that so i added some cabbage and this was such a great idea because it tasted so good this was like healthy tacos in fact let's call it that this was keto taco for me it just tasted good you can add some cheese if you want or just like another sauce i would like to see what this would taste like with that um peri peri sauce i made earlier so yeah that's it for today's um cooking i did three meals the avocado boats the bowl the rice bowl and the um, asparagus and chicken that we just saw. So those are my three meals. I also added like a little bit of a snack idea there with, um, what's it called? The boiled egg and some peanut butter. But yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys my the art that this created so you guys can see. So this is the snack that, you know, it was the idea because I just got tired in the end. I was going to do something else, but I got tired. But yeah, that's it. Sorry? No, I just, I'm sorry guys. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I thought somebody was calling a chef. I thought somebody was looking for a chef. So I was like, who's calling my name? Who's calling my name? Y'all know I killed it again, again, again. <laughs> again baby anyway that's my balanced meal for the day breakfast lunch dinner gave it to them back to back to back okay yeah that's right um so um i've been trying out a whole lot of keto recipes and i'm so happy to share with you guys this is just three out of a, a bunch of them i'll try to make them faster especially since we're in the new year because i know everybody wants to like get it together get it together get it together so i'll try and put out the videos faster so make sure you guys check that out that's it for this video don't forget to like share subscribe click the bell like button down below so you don't have notifications so you don't know <laughs> Hmm. Oh, anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the bell like button below so you have notifications every time I drop a video, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Whatever your heart is
spoken.